If you use barcodes or RFID to track products on the manufacturing floor, shop floor, uh, warehouse, factory floor, shipping dock, then this video shows how to use one single scan to track order status. You've likely got multiple workstations or stages along the way, including some starting point, raw materials, parts, assembly, additive or subtractive improvements to the product, and then moving on to QA, box, and ship. You only want to scan once at each one of those stations, and you don't want any special admin setup like registering serial numbers with the software. You just want the barcode scanner to pick it up and use it, especially if you have hundreds or thousands of these on the shop floor at any given time. So this video answers the question, where is the order right now? Uh, what stage is it in? What employee touched it last? What building or department it's in? This is not about time tracking, although most of the videos are, and you certainly can get that. This is about using a single scan to track orders and know where an order is right now. So let's jump into the software and see how it works. So over in standard time, you can see a list of time-stamped order status records, and you'll notice that those are mixed right in with the other time tracking records that you might get from scanning other operations with barcode scanners. But because they have zero duration, they will not show up in the timesheet as these records would. So I'll go ahead and press the F4 key to show you how to set this up. Up pops the barcode window where you would scan for time tracking and for order status. Click the barcode prefixes button and here you can enter the prefixes that you've set up for your barcode scanners. Now this is a requirement. You will have to consult your owner's guide for how to program prefixes into your barcode scanner. And you notice I've set up three of these, my gun one, my gun two, my gun three, for three different scanners. You just enter those characters here, whatever you choose, any series of characters. Then you can give it a description, and you've got some default values to document which employee was using it. You've got some optional fields for project, task, category, some text fields that you can put ad hoc text or notes into to also define where this scan took place. After you're done with that, go ahead and give it a text field that you want to scan into, and that's the reason I left with this one blank, so text one is a perfectly good field to use. When scanners use a prefix like this, they will first emit this series of characters, and then they'll emit the characters that you actually scanned. So in this case, an order number, and that last portion would go into the text one field. Go ahead and check this checkbox to give it a completed time log because we're not tracking time here and give it zero duration. Now, if you did give it a value for the duration, it would show up in the timesheet. You can create an expense with a template and an amount if you want to, but we'll just dispense with that. So now you can begin scanning and you would create records just like these here in the time log. I'm going to run this little report on the left hand side that allows me to find orders by user, project, client, you could give it a date range, or you could type in an order number or a portion of an order number. I happen to know the last three digits, so I'll type that in. You see at the filter at the bottom, click OK to open the report. Now you have a nice time stamped list of all the times this order was scanned. So you have the timestamp, the order number, some values that we've collected, and the last employee to touch it. So this top item here is the last time this order was scanned. These are in descending order, so the older ones are at the bottom. So very nice little report to run. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And just by way of review, we're going to press the F4 key, click barcode prefixes, Enter the prefix that you programmed into your scanner, give it a field to scan into, and then check this checkbox to create a status record instead of time tracking. So that's really all you have to do to get order status with a single scan in standard time.